the sport can be pure joy, but not at this level. Gymnastics is not only a sport, it's a lifestyle, can bring people together, can pull them far apart. It's our life, because once you learn to fly, you'll never give it up. Ladies, consider everything what is happening from now on here yeah, as steps and milestones for the Olympics. Now, remember that the key point is to stay fit, to maintain your health as much as you can. You see something is not all right. Don't throw yourself to get injured. Better get uh, some negative words, yeah, than an injury. You are on the way up, yeah? You can do a lot more, and I'm expecting you to do more. You are on top of the world for a couple of seconds when you are on the podium, and you realize you are the best in the world. That's the first step you put down on the floor. Yeah, you start from scratch again. Mission this know that Addy, myself and Karina are watching them continuously. We either have them at a training squad which will be at the National Centre at Lillishall or we'll go to their own centre and we're continually assessing and thinking and seeing what they're going to offer. So they know they've been assessed all the time and at the end of the day six of them will be selected. Olympic Games, it's never out of your mind. If it is out of your mind, then you must not want it enough. There's 10 to 12 of us that are really in contention and it's going to be hard to lose. Everyone would love to be part of that six. You put them under as much pressure as you can and see how they react on a do or die situation because it's big pressure here but it's nowhere near as big as the Olympic pressure with all the heartache, tension, surviving, not surviving. This is what their career is all about. It's my life. Ever since I was seven, I've not known anything different. I've come to the gym, I've trained, gone home and then started it all over again. So it's just part of my life and obviously I have to love it, otherwise I wouldn't still be doing it.
I just want to see that letter saying, we are pleased to say you are <laughs> representing Team GB before I can think about anything to do with the Olympics. Until then, I've got just competitions like the British and the teams, help the team. Hopefully, get back up there. <laughs> get back up there. So I guess. But it's like any competition, I never dream of... I guess you think about winning a world title, but I've never actually thought to myself, yeah. this world, I'm going to go and win a world title. <laughs> Come on, Beth. Good luck. A score of 16.05 for gold. This is the very big series. Two releases. And this is the one that came to grief last night. Whoa, she went for broke. Now, come on, she must keep concentration. More big skills to come. And again, now this was where we had a few problems last time. The full pirouette into the dismount, full twisting double back. Wow, fantastic, Beth. What about that? <laughs> She's smiling, we're smiling. She has scored 16.2. Oh, fantastic. How about that? How about it? Britain's Beth Tweddle. It's the most difficult routine from the technicality at bars. You have to be extremely well equipped, speaking about the spatial awareness and about the feeling, yeah, we call it the hanging, so that you can use the bars during the routine in creating the type of momentum you need. Some, like Beth, for example, have got ability to hang and to assess the vibration of the bar instinctively. My style is to analyze before I will use my discretion and my gut feelings about uh, the team. Uh, there are different levels of uh, abilities and uh, obviously uh, some can compete better in trials, some can compete better in internationals and we have to find the right uh, balance. Is it nice and warm on there? Yeah. Hannah, do something flippy. Yeah, Go on, show like Nami your full yes. twist. Big high ones. Do some somersaults. She's got trial for the Olympics. It's right in the middle of doing four GCSEs. Oh, bless. She's got her math GCSE. Then she's got history and English on the Tuesday, history on Thursday. Oh. I mean, she, she, she trains 30 hours and travels 10 hours, so that's 40 hours out of her week. I have Saturday night off, but I'm just too tired to go out. I just can never be bothered to get ready, because by the time you get home, you've got to have a shower and then get ready and then, and then go out. And then, but now, and then on Sundays, it's like my revising time, especially up to my exams. I've always, it's always been my catch-up time for homework and exams and revision and stuff. And then... Or oh, spending time with my mum and dad, because I never, hardly ever see them. When you see her during the week sometimes, she comes home at half past nine, absolutely exhausted. Yeah. You have to ice her legs and hot water bottles, and I give her a bit of a rub on her calves, because they get oh. tight, so uh, it staggers okay. me every day. Do you think that you're there or thereabouts with the rest of them? Yeah. Competing for that place? Yeah. You do? I'd say so. Good. Good. You've got every chance, haven't you? You know, obviously, how important it is. Big week, big few weeks coming up. There's no let-up after that, is there? After this weekend. I'm going to have to miss my Girls Aloud concert. Miss Girls Aloud. Let's hope it's worth it. Yeah. But you can't always be perfect. Um, like Mum always says, that you're not a robot, you can't always do everything right. 
not programmed to do everything perfectly, so you have to have a few mistakes sometimes. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. Hurts a little bit. Oh, it's still tight there, isn't it? My back pain. It's like something trying to stop me from getting there. But if, if the triple's like that, then you're best just doing double twists. Yeah. And you get a C, no deduction, rather than it, two tens high. Some days it's really sore. Every day you're just hoping that the next day I'll wake up and it'll be alright, but it doesn't. Is, has there been a, a scan arranged for tomorrow afternoon yet? Um, no. Right, because if, if the scan's not done on Tuesday afternoon, then that definitely takes the first trial out. Okay, I'll speak to you. Okay, see you soon. Bye. 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 Couldn't have happened at a worse time. But, um, not the only one with an injury, but... Feels like it sometimes. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I know any day I get off, so, you know, stay at home, chill for a bit. You know, catch up people in Emerson, yeah. Uh, not bad. Got like first trial next week, which is gonna be like, whoa, just gonna be like so nervous. Um, yeah, but um, preparation's going all right. Training like 24/7, tell ya. They've put you in the competition because you're good enough to be there, and yeah. There are bound to be people better than you, but you wouldn't be there if you weren't good enough or didn't have a chance of beating them. So just focus on what you have to do and hopefully um, you might surprise some people. When you're like waiting to put, for the judges to put their hand up before you compete, then the nerves like really kick in, especially if the beam starts shaking. You have to like try and control yourself because you don't want to wobble. <laughs> <laughs> 